Hey guys, look Fog here, and welcome to another FIFA 21 play review. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing the 85 rated rule breakers, Lucas Ocampos from Sevilla. Apologies, guys, for not having this review uh, last night, but it was out of my hands because the EA servers did go down for like eight hours last night between 7 p.m. UK time and 3 a.m. And EA didn't apologize once. I think they said thank you for your patience. There wasn't, I think a lot of people were losing their patience, which is understandable to be quite honest. And for the fact that they have the cheek not even to apologize, I mean, they extended the weekend leave by 24 hours, but they should be also apologizing, shouldn't they? At least in my personal opinion, it's just common courtesy to be able to do that. Um, so EA clearly don't have any manners, but uh, I'm sure. We have all learned that over the past few years. But uh, let's put, you know, I, I don't want to put too much of a down on this. Let's just move on from that. Lucas Acampos, airborne for 80,000 coins and sold him for a tidy little profit. We'll explain about that in a second. But four games with him, zero goals scored and one assist. He's also have four star skill moves as well as three star weak force. Getting into those in game stats, his main standout stats up his 88 finishing, his 86 ball control, as well as his 87 reactions. And finally, his 90 vision. I did have the hawk cams that apply to him. And then getting into those player traits, he does have the AI traits of speed dribbler and then also the flare traits and outside foot shots traits and he rose a lot in price last night i couldn't believe it he's going for about 190,000 coins on xbox i just sold him about an hour ago for 193,000, and i bought him for ack how good is that that's about 100k profit with tax there um certainly around that anyway i think with the tax it might be dead on 100,000 coins profits which is uh not too bad at all. He's going for slightly less on PlayStation at around 165 or 170k. And but I don't see value for money in this card at all. I really don't. Listen, I thought that, that in game he was unlocking up to get me more than, than one assist in the four matches. He did test the opposition keeper on a few occasions, but um don't buy this card for for, for over 150k, which he's going you know, he's going for uh, over 150k on both consoles at the moment. The maximum. The maximum I'd pay for this card would be what I bought him for. And even for 80,000 coins, he's not the best value for money. You know, I've used Lucas Mora, who obviously has a boring goal card design. I understand that. But Lucas Mora, 83 cards, is a much better player than this uh, Lucas Acampos card. At least in my personal opinion, he's got, I think he's much better in the pace area. I think he's a much better finisher. And I thought that Acampos was still good in a few areas. I thought his dribbling and his passing were decent. I, I think I might have said this earlier on in the video. I can't remember. But um, he was unlucky enough to get me more than one assist. There was one occasion where uh, he provided a few good chances for Socrates, and on one occasion, Socrates did hit the bar, which is just unlucky. So, on another day, that could easily have gone in the back of the net. He did provide a very, very good assist to Suarez, where he just plays like a nice little through ball between quite a few opposition players, and it just, uh, you know, it feeds through to Suarez, and, and Suarez finishes it absolutely beautifully. But, um, but yeah, on the whole, he just didn't offer much. You know, I was using also Carrasco on the left hand side, who goes for what, like less than 5,000 coins? Yeah, Carrasco is a better player than Lucas Acampos. You understand, obviously, both cards play on... They don't play on the same side. You know, Carrasco's on the left-hand side, Acampos is on the right. But Carrasco was doing more than, than what Acampos was. I'll tell you, that, you know, right now, I'll, I'll be honest with my review, I just don't... I think, it, it, you know, if it's a card that you pack and he's tradable, sell him. Take the money and run with this card, guys, because I can't see him retaining this price value. I, I'm shocked that um, he's gone up that much. I mean, I'm happy that he's gone up because I was able to make, a, a, you know, a, 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 um, about 100,000 coins profit, which is great. And I still think he can be useful in foot champions. If you are to pack him in like an untradable pack or something like that, he's still a decent card to go for. Of course he is. He does have good qualities. You know, you do look at some of those passes as like his 90 vision, his 90 curve, his 90 crossing. They are class stats, don't get me wrong. And um, he did show glimpses that he can be a very he, that he can be an effective player, but uh, I, I thought that his pace he lacked in a little bit. I didn't think he was the I don't think his pace was the worst. I don't think his finishing was the worst because you know he was maybe unlucky not to get a goal, but um, on on the whole, in terms of value for money, he's he's just not there at all. I, I know as I said before, I wouldn't pay over eighty thousand coins. From eighty thousand coins being the maximum, would he go back down to that price? Maybe not. I think you'll certainly, um, by the end of Saturday, be under 150k on both consoles. I, I think because of the fact that the servers have come back up, it's just it's made a lot of the rule breaker cards a lot more expensive. Uh, and I think that when we get more promo packs later on on Saturday and into Sunday and, and all that kind of stuff, I just can't see him keeping a price um, of this. But if you are able to pack him right now, I would take the money and run. It just wasn't my type of player, guys, I've got to be honest. Um, just, you know, a Lucas Mora, in my opinion, on the right-hand side is 
is a much better player than, than Lucas Acampos in, in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have still enjoyed watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.